Hey, what's going on, everybody? It is uh, an exciting day for us. Um, starting this coming Sunday, June 7th, uh, we're going to open up our facilities so that we will now have uh, three options of worship. For the past 11 weeks, we've been worshiping online together, and it's been uh, just a wonderful journey. But um, starting with this Sunday, June 7th, um, three worship options that we have. First, uh, in person on our campus, we have an 8.30 worship, our, our Alpha worship service. Um, at 10.30 in person, we'll be having our Omega worship service. Both of these will be um, the, uh, the same service. One will not be shorter than the other. One will not be longer than the other, but they'll both follow the same format. Um, also at 10.30, we will be streaming uh, live our uh, 10.30 Omega worship service. Uh, we want to give you these options and let you know that both of these options, all of these options are equally viable options. Uh, we want to do our best to create uh, the best worship environment for whichever uh, of these worship services that you choose. Uh, I know that there's a lot of differences in opinion as to uh, your readiness to come back into public gatherings, and there's a lot of differences of opinion in terms of uh, what precautions need to be taken. Uh, I want to be clear to us as a church that um, as an organization as well as individually, we're doing everything that we can in order to create the best worship experience, whether you worship online or you worship in person. That means uh, we are disinfecting. We've gotten a lot of advice and a lot of counsel from outside parties in order to um, yeah, get the best guidelines in terms of what we can do in order that as we worship, uh, we can worship uh, full of faith and excitement and worship rather than being distracted or thinking about what happens if I get sick or this person is too close to me. Uh, so we're doing everything that we can based on um, our best counsel that we've received as well as getting your input uh, based on the surveys that you've written. Uh, when you come, we're going to ask everyone to wear a mask, to stay socially distant. Um, our worship environment has been created so that uh, you will stay at least six feet apart in every direction from those uh, with whom you worship. Uh, except for those who are part of your family or those who, with whom you live. Um, again, we're doing everything that we can in order that um, as you come, we're going to give uh, yeah, the best worship that we have to God. We will be disinfecting before and after all of our worship services um, so that you can, we can alleviate any fears that you might potentially have. Uh, throughout this week, I want to encourage you to make sure that you follow our Instagram and Facebook pages because lots of real-time updates will be given there. Our Instagram is Harvest. KPCO and our Facebook page is the same harvest-kpco. If you're also not on our email list, um, that's where other information is going to be disseminated. Would invite you to um, drop a message in the comments so that we can, uh, or send a direct message so that we can send an uh, email to you. But um, there's a video that we're going to show that's going to give instructions for our protocol as you come in, and then uh, more detailed instructions will come over email this week. I'm excited to see you in whatever fashion. If it's in person, I look forward to that. If it's uh, online, I will look forward to that as well. Um, but let's pray. Let's be expectant and uh, anticipate the great move of God in whatever way we come to worship. Thanks for being the church, and take a look at this video for more information. Coach Thomas Stevens here. Pastor David Larry, he reached out to me. He said he needed some help. We're going to follow this playbook. I got a good playbook here. That way our worship service back is going to be good. It's going to be great. You just got to follow this, right? Very credible here. One of the best. People remember me from Michael, Michael Jordan's uh, Last Dance Chance thing. You follow my playbook. You follow my advice. You'll go somewhere. Ewan, come over here, boy. You see him? He followed my guides. Look at this. Harvard. Good job, boy. Get out of here. All right. Pretty simple, okay? We're going to go over some play-by-play -play stuff. You follow this, everything's going to be good. All right? Buckets. All right, playbook. Worship service playbook here. Everybody listen up. There are going to be three options here. Online, Alpha service, 8.30 a.m., and Omega service, 10.30 a.m. But if you're going to be coming to the in-person service, you have to RSVP beforehand. And you can do that by following the survey link below. Please RSVP beforehand. We're asking everyone to come in earlier because there are a couple steps before we get into service. There's going to be touchless temperature checks performed by greeters. We're all going to be wearing masks and gloves. We're asking everyone that comes in for the in-person service to wear masks. Ushers will be taking you and your family to seats that are already pre-arranged. 
We are spaced out the chairs in the gym. And if there is a case where there's more people than chairs, we have overflow seating prepared in the Kingdom Keepers room. Speaking of Kingdom Keepers, Kingdom Keepers Children Ministry will continue to be online. Please follow updates with the Kingdom Keeper teachers. Please refrain from person-to-person -person contact and know that the building is going to be sanitized. It's going to be sanitized before and after every single service. It's play-by-play -play time. Time to see visually what's going to happen when you get here, okay? You first get there, temperature check. Touchless. Scribble, scribble, scribble. Touchless. No touching here. You're going you're gonna to get your temperature check. As long as it's under 99.5, you get thumbs up. Boom, thumbs up. Next station here, everyone's wearing gloves and, and, and masks to check on it. She's, the Chelsea's like, you got a mask on? All right, great, you move on. And, but, oh, look at this, look at this, look at this. Stop, 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 foul, 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 foul. He does not have a mask on. No mask. It's okay, though. We got, you see the scribble right there? There's a box there. We have masks. If you don't have a mask, we'll provide you a mask. But we are going to ask that you wear a mask throughout service, all right? So put that on, Chan Wu. Put that mask on. He's going to go to the next station where you're going to sanitize your hands. Everyone will be getting some, some good old hand sanitizer. That's a oh, good motion there. Let's see that again. Thorough. Thorough. Great job. One more time. Great job. Great job. Good free play. Now we're going to... I'm, I'm, I'm going to slow it down here, actually. So you're going to get to ushers here. Um, you see this folk in, in orange. And back there, scribbly time coming up right here. Scribble. Oh, there we go. All right. White jersey there. Okay. They're gonna. They they are going to. The ushers are gonna lead you and take you to uh, the seats. We're gonna have a signed seating. Okay, that's why it's important that you RSVP. Okay, if you're with your families as you come together, you're all gonna sit together, congregated. You can see here everything spaced out. We've got seats um, by numbers, and you're gonna go there. Okay, and that way we we uh, know capacity wise what's going on here. But I want you to keep an eye out here. Look at this. Look 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 look. Get him. You see that? They see an old friend. But I love what they do here. See, they're like, oh my goodness, I haven't seen him in so long. But kumbaya, look at what happens here. They just wave, social distancing, greeting each other that way. Hi, hi, hi. All right. So you look at this photo, everything's spaced out. We're going to take you to your seat and you're going to have your mask on the entire worship service. Now, once worship service ends, you will proceed to leave, exit through the cafe. There's going to be a little box here. Check this out where you can put your offering. Great. No wasted movement there. No wasted movement. Boom. Smooth. Drop it in. And you head right through the cafe. We're going to ask that folks do not congregate. And whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, whoa. Hold up. Good save, White Jersey. Good save. He tried to go for the hug. We're asking to refrain from person-to-person -person contact. That's very important, Chan Wu. He, he must have forgotten there. Great replay here, though. Great step in by White Jersey. I like that. That was very, very good save here. Boom, boom, shakalaka. That was good. All right, so you're going to exit through the cafe. We're asking uh, there to be no congregating. Oops, yeah, it was your fault, buddy. Exit through the cafe. I just said that. Look at this. Pastor Diaz pointing to there, pointing to there, and he's walking the other way. He's, he's walking the other way to the complete other side, all right? But boom, White Jersey again. I don't know how he got there, but he got, wow. That's great, but he's stopping him there. He's stopping him there because he's telling him, "Hey, no, no, exits that way. The cafe, the cafe, the cafe. Oops, yeah, it's your, yeah, Chan Wu. Oops. All right, so you're gonna go walk out through there. Now, we're asking uh, there to be no congregating. Okay, as soon as service ends, you walk out through the cafe. All right, so follow Coach Thomas Stevens' playbook. We have these guidelines again because we're trying to create a safe environment for everyone to be able to focus on worship." And not being worried about this and that, okay? So please, if you are going to be coming in person, follow these guidelines. But we look forward to worshiping with you, whether it's in person or online. All right, Coach Thomas Stevens, guidelines, playbook. Okay, here we go. See you all later.